Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and today I'm going to test out the new teeth option for the Artillion Stump Bucket. I've got four new options that I can put on the front of this, including heavy duty and ripping teeth. And we're going to see if we can remove this stump right here with it. Honestly, I think this stump is too big for a stump bucket like this, but it'll, either it'll do it or it won't. And the reason I say I think it's too big is the tree that was here, it's not that big of a diameter, really. This is 12, 13 inches diameter, but the tree that I cut down from this spot was 40, 50 foot tall, mature tree that's gonna have a big root system, and that's a lot to ask of one of these. And it's not like it was cut down 15 years ago. I cut this down last month. So I think this is gonna be a really stubborn root system and it's going to be a good test for the capabilities of this bucket. I think the first thing I'll do is put the new teeth on, show you how the stump bucket mounts to the artillion frame and how to attach those other teeth. Now, I've actually shown these teeth in another video. You've got the standard tooth, which works well, and then you've got a heavy duty tooth, which is reinforced by having the cutting go in both directions. And then we've got a ripping tooth with serrations on it. Then we've got a heavy duty ripping tooth with cutting edges in both directions and the serration. And then we have one I haven't shown, which is a trenching blade. If you put that one on here, that's when you're, you're digging that two foot deep, 12 inch wide trench, like to put in a, a shallow water line or a swale or something like that. But we won't be using this one out today. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is put on this heavy duty ripping edge. It looks like this is gonna be really quick and easy to install. Just four bolts. The reason I don't need a wrench on the bottom is it's got the squared off carriage head that fits in the square portion of the underside of this bucket. Okay, that was a valuable lesson learned. Spinning that with the impact, you know, you wouldn't have that problem if you were using a ratchet. But spinning with the impact, whenever I got to the last one, this bottom plate serves as your nut for this. So when I got to the last one, it spun that on me, came around and hit my hand. So when you go to take this off, you wanna put one of your other bolts through one of these holes to keep that from spinning. So I've been happy with the performance I got from this. No question we're gonna get some more digging power out of this version. Now on these style teeth, you don't have that issue of when you take it on and off, needing to hold that bottom plate because it's the bottom plate is built in. I actually thought that you use the square hole in the bucket to hold it. I didn't pay enough attention to know that this plate was under there. So that's really just my fault for not paying attention. So if you're not familiar with the Artillion system, their front end attachments are a modular system where you buy this frame one time and then you can put a variety of different things on it like this stump bucket or a grapple or a snow blade or pallet forks and it also has a receiver mount on it. It's got chain hooks over here and I'm going to show you real quick how you put the stump bucket on. So you pick this up. You have these notches right here. You're going to, then you have tabs on the back of the stump bucket that you're going to set into those notches. 
Then you're gonna lift up on it and slide it out of those notches so that it's locked in place. And then you've got keys that go in the back to really lock it in so it can't come out. All right, let's see if we can get this stump out. I'm pretty sure that some of you guys are going to ask me in the comment section why I'm not using the backhoe on the tractor. And the answer is, when I'm recording these types of projects, I don't just want to get the job done. I also want to compare the capabilities of different attachments and maybe help you guys make an informed decision if you're considering, should I buy a backhoe? Should I buy a front hoe or a trenching bucket? I've had other videos where I talk about this stump bucket being like a cheap alternative to a backhoe, but bottom line, if it can't get a stump like this out, then it's not really much of an alternative. This thing is absolutely shredding through these roots, and the question is, can it get deep enough? And this is my first time trying a bigger stump with the two foot long bucket. I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to get this out, so I'm really impressed by that. This entire hole is nothing but these big rocks. This rock, it's like I busted this one in half digging the stump out. So, really impressive. Tons of roots like this I've cut. Let's go over and take a quick look at the stump. The roots on this that I've cut through, some of those roots are three or four inch diameter. Huge. And didn't struggle with it really. And absolutely no damage to the teeth on the bucket. So now I've just got to clean the mess up. But as far as this video, I appreciate you taking time to watch. I'll put links over here to a couple more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.